Hi friends, welcome home. I hope you're blessed and doing well because I'm doing great. Today we're going to be making homemade blueberry jam from scratch. This is a great way for you to learn a new skill. It would offset those rising costs of your groceries due to inflation and learn how to pack your own pantry full of nutritious homemade food. And this is going to show you how to do it. So we're going to make some jam today. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new to canning, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let's jump into it. All right, friends. So let's get started. We have eight cups of blueberries here, one Granny Smith apple, we have a pinch of cinnamon, we have one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, we're going to juice this lemon, so the juice of one whole lemon, and we are using one cup of pure cane sugar and two cups of brown sugar. Alright, so I'm working with washed and clean jars and I'm going to be using these half pint jars so these are some of the tools you'll need a juicer for your lemon you need a jar lifter this is a lid um, lifter for your a magnet lid lifter and um, if you want to strain the seeds you can um, you can you need a funnel when you get ready to ladle your jam in or your preserve in you need some measuring tools, close of measuring spools. Alright, and you're going to need your lids and rings for your jars. Another tool that I like to use is a debubbler, and there are kits that come with a debubbler, but I just don't mind using my little wooden chopstick here, it just works fine. Alright, you're also going to need a potato mash here and a spoon. Make sure that, that you have a thermometer as well. All right, and the vinegar here is for um, wiping the rims of the jars before I put the lids on. So I'm just gonna set that right there. All right, friends, so I'm using my um, pressure canner just as a vessel because it's smaller and it can fit on my stove top a lot better than my water bath canner can. So you can use a regular pot you can use a water bath canner or you could use your uh, pressure canner just as a vessel to put your jars in all right and you have to make sure that you're covering your jars with water when you're water bath canning at least two inches above the jar <music> cinnamon that's in there as well. I'll get that. And we're going to turn it on medium to high heat and bring it up to 220 degrees. don't want to walk away from it because you don't want it to burn. I, um, jars into my warm water here. Just let them get nice and warm. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and incorporate my sugar in here. Now 
out and add the vanilla. Yum. And I'm going to add the lemon juice. Before we go any further into the tutorial, I wanted to send out a special thank you to the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. For those of you who are not familiar with Skillshare, Skillshare is an amazing online community packed with lots of classes for you to choose from. I absolutely love Skillshare and I really enjoy taking the classes. There are so many uninterrupted classes to choose from. You can learn canning and fermenting, preserving, to art. I am interested in changing up my brand just a little bit. So I want to learn how to style my food better when I'm recording and doing my videos for you guys. So I took the class Food Styling Techniques Create Your Delicious Photography Portfolio by Rose Nini and she went into detail from start to finish teaching all of the aspects of food photography and how to get the best shot so I'm going to implement these in my upcoming videos I'm really excited to show you guys in my upcoming videos what I've learned from the class so if you wanted to give Skillshare a try Skillshare is offering the first 1,000 members to click the link in the description box below one month free trial to Skillshare so I want to thank Skillshare once again for sponsoring this video ready it is of a really nice consistency and it still has to set up a little bit more so we're just going to do the spoon test and see where it's at if it runs back down into the seam it is not ready but it's not doing that but i'm going to give it just a few more minutes before we're done I'm going to bring these to a boil and process them for 10 minutes. 
Now, I won't be locking the lid in place. I'm just sitting it on top um, just to um, give the canner enough time to come up to a boil. So, you know, we're not pressure canning these just like if you would have a lid on your pot or on your water bath canner. That's all I'm doing here is just putting the lid on here um, for that purpose only. <music> And that is it friends that is how you make blueberry jam this is definitely a skill that you should learn right now and it will help you with inflation learn how to can your own food and pack your pantry tight I will see you all on the next video bye